some of my real ones. Today we're eating a, a place called Plant Based Pizzeria. This is the box it comes in. It's like, what is it called? Recycled. That's amazing. Sauces. I have a. My dog's going crazy. I have a meat lovers and a Mexican pizza. I'm just gonna eat two slices. Thank you. I don't think I'm. How's the sauce? Taste this sauce. On Kuzma, Chris Paul falling away. We'll take the first off. Through, although just five points mm. so far today. And they also need James to be, be dominant. Drummond on a nice feed. Mm. Easy bucket for Drummond. And to accomplish in this league. You need energy. You need competitive. It's all vegan. I should have said that. Plant based pizza is all With the signing vegan. after the buyout since his uh -huh. earlier days in the league. He's tough too, just not afraid of the contact. Cameron Payne, not afraid. Drive to the basket on the reverse of the lead is 15. Crowd's been rather quiet with the fourth play here in the period. James, the runner, is good. That's his first field goal of the period. Can you see how he, loud he'd be when I'm on video? Huh? Right now, mm. second so good, so mm -hmm. it's not like Pizza Hut. I'm probably doing none of that. They got their own thing going on. You see how he acting? He do that when I turn this camera. You see that? Mm -mm -mm. His meat lover is good, but his Mexican pizza is. Mm -mm. That's the Mexican. Whew. Jalapeno tomatoes, all that. It's good though. Which one do you like better? Hmm? Meat lover. I like the Mexican. Cheesy. Plant based pizza ray is amazing. You see the pepperoni they got? On that. What's he doing? What's he eating? He eating something for real. Mexican pizza is so good. I don't need a lot of man now. It has its own flavor. Mm -hmm. um, HoneyBook is a one stop shop, and I've been using them for mm -hmm. years. HoneyBook is the hub. What are you eating, Ezekiel? Something fly with that? That Mexican pizza is spicy. You taste that spicy? Listen, you couldn't make it in these circles, bro. I wanted to ask you guys. I wanted to ask you guys about Kwame now coming out saying what he's saying. Kenya, because there's a lot of pressure. You were number one. The world, you came out straight out of high school. So you guys have a, have a unique, true understanding of what he went through at that age. Kenya, what type of pressure did you feel, or did you feel pressure when you were number one? You were coming off a broken leg, too. Yeah, man, um, 
it was more pressure for myself, man, to be honest with you. Like, I didn't, I never cared to pay the Open that door back, because you probably got to go outside for right. Right. Not at all. Go outside. I was taking after the game. I don't, I didn't you know? tune, tune in the sports center the first thing in the morning after the game. Go outside. Go after the game and play. I didn't watch it. I didn't read the local no beat writer stuff. Book. And I used to tell them. Like, you can say whatever you about, whatever you want about me, bro. Like, until somebody bring it to me, I don't care what you have to say. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, but, but the pressure that comes with being the number one pick, he did it's go obviously, right. yeah, because you're number one pick, and people expect you to be mm -hmm. this certain mm -hmm. role. They expect you to average this amount of points, or expect you to make this amount of all-star teams, or whatever you the case may be. Okay. Everybody know every, everybody's yeah, career, everybody's path to get there is different. Everybody's career is different. So, for me, it was just going out and doing what got me to that point. Going out and hooping, playing hard each and every night. And whatever That's... comes with it, whether I score 10, 15, 30, whether we win, lose, I know I went out there each and every night that I put my, I laced them up when I gave them all. Go outside, and man. Me. Like, I didn't care. And my, and my teammates knew what I stood on. You know what I'm saying? But for Kwame, like, it's to, to be hearing this style. when you're a kid, Throughout your twenties, and they're like, and now it's like enough is enough. Like I, I'm with him. Like I said on my podcast, it's like enough. He felt like like I, I, I'm saying enough is enough. Like I'm a grown man. I was a child then when y'all was picking on me. I didn't say that then. I haven't said that over the last twenty years, and people still continuously try to paint this narrative that I was a bust or I was this bad or I didn't measure up to this and didn't measure up to that. Like. Stop comparing me to other people. Like I had a great career. I played 13 years, 12, 13 years. Yeah. I bought my mom a house. Like, come on, man. Like nothing about that 